We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's protection and understanding. Allah says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands and instructs justice and goodness. So he mentioned justice before goodness and this brings us to the second point of the connection between the two. We cannot forego justice with the excuse of goodness. Someone owes you 50 rands. When someone else comes and says, brother, just forgive him. Your goodness. Allah says, inna Allah ya'muru bil adli wal ihsan. You should tell them, Allah says, adl before ihsan. Get, get, get me my 50 rands. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Allah says, justice before goodness. I'll be very good, but after I get my 50 rands. <laughs> Notice how I'm making it only 50 rands. We don't want to get into a big debate in the masjid. The reality is, when we have been oppressed more than once, and we do not stand up firm for justice, sometimes we could be guilty of promoting vice and evil. A man wrongs you, you forgive him. That was goodness. He wrongs you again, you forgive him. He oppresses you again, you don't do anything about it, you forgive him. At times you might just become guilty of promoting that vice by making him get away with it. So that is why it is important you stand up for justice as well. That is why I said sometimes goodness dictates that you must be just. You must stand for that justice. Don't give up your rights sometimes. But you need to gauge that obviously and you need to weigh the situation. And this is why when, when we are speaking to others, don't always ask them to forgive and forget. No, not always. Sometimes in, an individual has the right to say, no, I would like justice. I want retribution. I want to seek revenge, retaliation. But may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness as well. Allah says, do you want to know the best of affairs? Those who are patient and oft forgiving. Still, you know it's your right, but just forgive if you can. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you as well. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us in Surah An-Nisa as well as in Surah Al-Ma'idah. A beautiful command which sounds quite similar, but the ending of it is different. Allah says, Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu kunu qawwameena bil qisti shuhada'a lillah. O oh, you who believe, stand up firm for justice for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This verse is repeated twice. Once in Surah An-Nisa and once in Surah Al-Ma'idah. But in Surah An-Nisa, Allah says, stand firm for justice every single one of you. Even if it is against yourselves, or your parents, or your relatives, your friends, don't ever forgo justice just because it is your father, or just because it is your brother, just because it is your son. No, justice comes before anything else. The Prophet wasallam, when he was judging between Ali ibn Abi Talib and a Jewish man, عنه, Ali ibn Abi Talib عنه, and a Jewish man, the Prophet wasallam, ruled in favor of the Jewish man because of the evidence in front of him. Subhanallah. That resulted according to one of the narrations in the acceptance of Islam of this Jewish man. Amazing. Subhanallah. Look at how justice actually promotes goodness as well. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the justice even if it happens to be against ourselves. That is actually a peak. When a man can stand up and say, look, I'm wrong. I really am wrong. I'm sorry. Subhanallah. That is now the peak of manhood. Because part and parcel of being a man is not only to get up and fight, but to admit when you are wrong. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us that quality. Then in Surah Al-Ma'idah, the end of it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kunu qawwamina lillahi shuhada'a bil Stand up firm for the sake of Allah in justice. That means engage in justice, promote justice, stand up firmly for justice for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا يَجْرِمَنَّكُمْ شَنَآنُ قَوْمٍ عَلَىٰ أَلَّا تَعْدِلُوا اِعْدِلُوا هُوَ أَقْرَبُ لِلتَّقُوَىٰ Powerful verse of the Qur'an. Justice with your enemy. Allah says, the fact that you hate someone with a passion should not let you become unjust with him. Still you must be just. So you have an enemy of yours. But where they are right, they are right. Credit is due. Allahu Akbar. 
where the enemy of yours is correct, he is still correct. And if your best friend is wrong, he is wrong.